Well, well, well. Hello, people of YouTube, and welcome to another video of me painting a Warhammer model. As promised in my last video, the Feculin Normal, for those who did watch it, I did showcase this model, at least the box, as a preview of what's to come. So I figured it's time to deliver on that promise. And here we are. I even had to um, change the angle of this guy over here because this monstrosity is about 40, I guess, centimeters tall when you put the other guy on top. So yeah, I'd say about 40 centimeters. Um, yeah, this might take a while to finish, but I am excited. So let's get going. So we have assembled our items, as you might notice, by the way, I put some markers on this plate. This is where the um, auto, auto glot positions himself, because I'm planning to do something more than just a little bit of base. I'm actually going to make a bit of a diorama like thing so I, I'm contemplating on making him stand on top of some rocks or something for now we're gonna work on the initial preparations as usual we're gonna use administratum gray followed by Corex white. Let's see, let's get started. So the colors are on the table. I have made decision on some green hues and of course our purples and pinks. We got uh, the following colors. We got the rip of flesh. Still have to mix it as you can see. Plate bear flesh and warp lightning. And for the pinks and purples, we have Carbo Crimson, Volopus Pink, Magus Purple, and Shaish Purple. As a shader, I have built and green ready. So this is the sequence. 
Shiesh purple. Magus purple. Crimson. And pink. So let's get started. some screaming skull screaming skull that's the base layer of these tin And now we're moving on to the, let's say, open wounds. For that, I wish to try the following either Doom Fire Magenta or the Bow Land. But if that doesn't work, I'll just go straight for the technical paint Blood for the Blood Gods. This is. This has um, this is like a two pronged type of paint. It actually paints red as well. And we're gonna do the intestines with them. So, without further ado. Build some green. 
What we're going to do now is highlighting and I have a few options. Uh, one is just using this. However, I prefer option B. Well, I should say that's option B. Option B would be option A would be <laughs> sorry. Using this and use it with the well known technique of applying some correct white. Yeah, this one. Just adding some corex white, and you have paint you can highlight with. So that's what we're gonna do. stages I have all kinds of stuff here I got the metals rune fang steel rune lore brass yeah and ashna copper let me I'm gonna make some coppery stuff going on here I think I'll need to do this as real fire We'll see. Uh, we got the skulls to do. We got screaming skull for that. I have Gilliman Flash and Cygor Brown here for the rope. Change of plan, I forgot that this doesn't cover metal that well, or at least it doesn't stick. So I'm going for my usual Iron Warriors. It's been a while since I painted metal, that's why. And on top of that, I have here Skaven Blight Dinge for those uh, teeth, so to speak. I'm gonna highlight all the dark dark teeth these three areas with that and I'm thinking I'll start with that Rust and Nialic Oxide. This is for your copper and your brass and whatnot. This is for your iron, your steel, your... What's that other one? There's another color in the range. Something... Um... Oh, come on. Lead. Something Belcher Lead. I forgot the name. Lad Belcher? <laughs> anyway. We have arrived at our first other brother. 
or tool. <laughs> Ew. I thought I did a better job. Anyway. Uh, what I'll be doing first is uh, covering his skin with flayed one flesh. So here we go. Turns out the Gilliman flesh was too thick, so to speak, so I had to use Reglan flesh shade to get this result. But bottom line, the plan was the same. And this is what we got right now. And we're going to move further. Fourth. We're going to move forth with applying this. Dark Angel's Green. Mm -hmm. Alright, we'll update. I finished all the work. Added the yellow to have synergy with um, Gurk. Some more flesh shade everywhere, including the armor. Pretty straightforward, right? That's not. The end result. Last but not least, we are going to do this guy. I forgot his name, actually. But uh, yeah, we're going to do a purple room. And there we are, folks. We have finished, finally, the Glotkin. And with that, I tend to, for larger models, I tend to varnish them. Like the Blight Lords you've seen in the past. And that's what we're going to do now. I have a change in tactic though. So what I do now is after some reviewing of these uh, varnishes from Citadel is that I will apply a layer of art coat first because glossy varnish holds better followed with areas of storm shield. Now I'm not gonna varnish the um, weapons with storm shield I think we'll see but most importantly the first layer will be art code nowadays because this is basically pure varnish and this one has a bit more chalk adding uh, aiding I should say to the uh, matte look. So that's what we're gonna do now. And, and yeah, after I do that, we are ready to do the base. I've already put a little bit of a setup here, but that will be in the 
future. So let's just go and varnish this up. And then I, once I finish this, let's just painting over the model with this. With a layer of varnish. Nothing special. And after this two layers, these two layers, we are going to do the base. And now is the time we work on the base. I've, as I've shown before, marked the position. So I have this in mind. This will be rock formation. And on top of that, I will probably use some molding clay to sort of fix the look of things. So just sharing with you what we'll be doing. This is, uh, these are just uh, bark chunks. If it was legal to do it in Singapore, I would remove the bark <laughs> of the trees, but it's not legal. So we'll just have to buy it. There you go. Besides, our trees don't have the, um, what do you call that? Those chip off things. I think it's um, oak, if I'm not mistaken. So, here we go. This is the general layout of the. Okay. Again, we're going to use all purpose glue hobby glue i think i left it open last time which is a bit silly of me what we'll do next is we are going to Pluck the holes of these pieces. There are holes. I'm gonna redefine the shape a little bit of these. This is the final product. bit of molding and now we just prime it this is the final product now I'm thinking maybe I add a little bit of extra here but I'm planning to make the glue come here and then sort of like all this slime coming down this area so this might be like a puddle of slime instead we'll see <laughs> for now we're gonna paint this brick dark gray first skaven blight dinge followed by administrating gray and a little hint of Corex White for highlighting. I'll be back once that's finished. gonna do the usual get the 
keep gaming CNX Eric Glass Grasslands out. I'm not sure you can see it. There you go. Eric Grasslands. Pour it all over. A little bit over the uh, areas here, not everywhere. And then we have a base where we can work up with the gooey and the moss and everything. So that's the next step. So we applied the glue. Now we're gonna have to place it in a container sizable enough. And we just have to pour this in now. Stop. Should have touched it until it dried. Some of it fell. So let's go back at it. show you what the base sort of looks like I am planning to add more moss and stuff but all in all some of it is still a bit loose but don't worry I will I'm not sure what's going on here why? Oh yeah, my camera is acting up. Anyway, I am planning to add the swamp gel and our dear playground to the mix and this should help with sort of like cover the, the rocks it's usually rocks that tend to be a bit loose that's the problem if you don't use enough glue and here there's like a batch of glue that just got stuck and then let's see but don't worry I just need this for um, volume, so to speak. So the I was just, I was planning to get this to flow and stuff, and that will save the whole thing. This is sort of stuck. Yeah. Anyway, looking good overall. I'm pretty happy. With And 
result. So I added another layer. So I wanted to thicker there. But this is basically what we got. And then I fill it up there. So now I just need to get this thing in the right spots. 